today's episode, The Guillotine or Don't Die So Close to Me. It's worth noting that he's a survivor of the Hershey War, along with his sister Candace. Now if you'd please turn to the left, sir. He also tried to make out with Billy whilst the latter was bound and gagged. He forgot that today was laundry day and he had to hurry to the dry cleaners before it closed for the weekend. Here I come to wreck your shit! Once the timer reaches zero, this Nickelback album will cause the bridge to invert upon itself! Please excuse this momentary tear in space-time. Oh, look at the time! It's wimp o'clock! Mm, evidently they didn't use the fast-burning dynamite wicks. Let's make sure the job gets done. Back up, Whitey, back up! You got it, Rocky! You know, I feel the old rickety bridge scene is truly a lost art in films these days. Uh, why didn't we have the budget to show me catching the car? Good afternoon, ma'am. I heard you ordered the sunroof. Tonight on Masterpiece Theater, Risk the Live Game. Jeez, you had to wear your ankle weights today! Captain Marvel, righteous hero of the Golden Age, leaves people to cough out the water from their own lungs. Oh, wait till my girlfriend gets a load of this. Why, it's Billy and Betty with Whitey. And I'm his friend Jesus. I'll tell you about that later, Mr. Malcolm. We better get away from here. Yes, we'll head for Fort Moulton. You can rest there, Betty. I don't want to rest till I get back to the United States. And boy, when we get there, well, I have a story to broadcast. Billy Batson, 50 Holies of Moly. Guests of the adventures of Captain Marvel are taken on a luxurious around-the-world trip by Acme Cruise Line. Remember, Acme Cruise Line. Stop and smell the asbestos and lead. It sure is swell of little Timmy to let us use his building sets for establishing shots. The expedition reached the ship without further difficulty. All the scientists are enthusiastic over their discoveries, and they're very thankful to be back in this country again, out of reach of the scorpion. Eh, uh, economic news was next. I don't feel like jumping out of a window today. The discovery he's referring to concerns the five lenses that fit into the golden scorpion you see before you. With the lenses in place, the sun's rays can be utilized to change inert material into powerful explosives and to turn base metals into gold. Whoever controls this device will have power such as men have dreamed of since the beginning of time. And that's my job to get the lenses. All right, tell me who's got them and I'll get to work. Well, I sent them to Vision Works, so they'll be unavailable for a day or so. It won't be so easy, Barnett. 
The lenses were divided among the scientists who have hidden them carefully. But you're one of these men. It's not a spoiler if the audience already guessed it. We're holding a meeting at Malcolm's home today. I want you to see that Henry Carlyle does not arrive at that meeting. His lens is the first point of attack. We now join our regularly scheduled board meeting already in progress. Mr. Malcolm, Mr. Carlisle has been delayed. He expects to be in about ten minutes. Well, thank you, Ben. Well, I'd ask for an intercom, but the walking is good for my calves. Menos Year One, The Baby Hands of Fate. Kind of makes me wonder if they spend weeks practicing this maneuver. All right, Mr. Kylon, keep driving straight ahead. And don't think of slamming on the brakes, sending me careening over the windshield. And now to the malt shop. And here we have a spacious two-person gangster hideout with torture room, rec room, and bathrooms, two for murder and two for regular use. Scorpion wants your lens. You don't think I'd ever let him get it, do you? Yes, I think you will. Those electric eyes are throwing a beam which will knock out anyone who gets between them. And at the same time... Wait, I'll show you. I forgot the rest. The technician bored me to sleep when he explained it. Tired of your old furniture? Do you need a demonstration for a potential victim? Try our new Acme Killateen Combo Package. Acme. We make it, you break it. Well, good thing I'm not a chair. Now, unless you change your mind, we'll give you a personal demonstration. All right, I'll tell you. It's in a safe at my home. Along with my naughty books. Miss Wallace has it written down. I'll phone her and... No, you'll write her a note. All right. And unless you follow these instructions, the Scorpion's men will carry out their threat against me. This note is signed by Henry Carlyle. The Scorpion. In this country. Then we are all in danger. We should call the police. By all means. This is an emergency. Carlyle's life is in danger. But do you know where Carlyle's lens is, Miss Wallace? Yes. But I promise never to tell anyone. You needn't tell anyone, Betty. The question is, should you get the lens and deliver it as the note instructs you to? Or should we turn this matter over to the authorities? What do you think, Lang? I say send the lens and save Carlyle. Fisher, send Miss Wallace with the lens. Bentley, it's the only way. Tell Shetali, send the lens. Wow, totally didn't see this coming at all. To get the lens and deliver it. The note said you must go to the Elm Street Bridge alone. Are you willing to do that? For Mr. Carlyle, yes. If you'll all keep in touch with me by telephone, I'll let you know as soon as Betty reports. Must resist nice guy tendencies. Betty, I have an idea. Now, you won't need to take any chances, because I'll see that everything goes all right. All right, now, where's that secret entrance to Hogwarts? Slow down and wait for me to way. You 
All set, Whitey? Sure, let's go. We'll follow him when he leaves. I have no idea in what. I forgot to bring a second car. I'm not very good at this whole planning thing. Get your hands up. Both of you. Serves you right for camping, noobs. All right, go ahead. Watch this. They were watching you, Colin. Search them. Camping's a legitimate strategy! And Home and Garden Channel's really gone downhill recently. Speed of Mercury's got nothing on the speed of fast forward. You know, they really should make more bridges out of balsa wood. Did you give him the wet willy? No time! Just go! Well, not the first time I woke up in the dirt with another man laying next to me. Oh, I don't know, you were kicking a decent amount of ass already. I THIRST FOR BLOOD! Where are you going? GET BACK HERE! CAN YOU FLY, PUNY HUMAN?! <laughs> YOU'RE MORE FUCKED THAN A SAILOR ON SHORE LEAVE! Oh, come on, you got one more, don't ya? There you go. Keep away from me, I'll let your pal here have it. Sanctity of life, my one weakness. Don't see why I couldn't have flown! Captain Marvel is Solid Sneak. What happened? They tried to trap us, but I got away with the lens. Oh, by the way, Muggsy and Carl got the shit killed out of them. This box is empty. We'll have another talk with Mr. Carlisle. Come on. Okay, I've been talking to the group, and you just haven't been a very cooperative hostage, and that makes us feel like you don't respect us. Oh, I know. I wrote the note asking Betty to get the lens for you. Well, she didn't get it. You better figure out a better way to persuade her. I don't know what else I can do. No. Well, think and think fast. We'll help you. Have you tried Candy Hearts and Flowers? Telling her she's pretty? Puma Man powers activate! You can't figure out some way to get that lens. You'll go under the knife. Perhaps a tummy tuck. We'll go after the girl ourselves. I can't. I don't know what more I can do. Have you tried listening to her problem? I'm in. Oh, yeah! If at first you don't succeed, empty your gun just to be sure, I suppose. Ah! A chair! And electricity! Two of my three weaknesses! Looks like Shazam really oversold the stamina of Atlas. We'll 
Captain Marvel wake up to realize that electricity really shouldn't affect him all that much? Find out next time in When Dull Guillotine Strike or Just a Little Off the Top, Ow Not That Much, God Damn It!